Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable the developer mode on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. What you need to do is you just need to click on your Windows icon and then click on the settings. So, so you will see this option which says settings here. So just click on settings here. And once this window opens, you just need to click on the update and security option here. So just click on update and security option. And then on the left hand side, you will be able to see this option which says for developers. So just click on this option. And by default, you can see on my Windows operating system under for developers, it says Microsoft uh, Store Apps. So only install apps from Microsoft uh, Store is the default which is selected on my Windows operating system. And what I need to do is I need to choose this option, which is the developer mode. And here under this, it's written that install any signed and untrusted app and use advanced development features. So just choose this option, which says developer mode. And once you choose this option, you will be able to see this window, which is the warning window. So you need to read this message carefully and then only uh, click on yes. And this message says turning on developer mode, including installing and running apps from the outside the Microsoft store could expose your device and personal data to security risk or harm your device. Turn on a developer mode. So if you uh, agree with this warning, then you can just click on yes here. And once you do this, it's going to uh, install some packages related to developer mode. So you just need to wait for the installation to complete. So you can see searching for developer mode packages. So after some time, you will see this message which says developer mode package installed remote tooling for desktop is now enabled. So once you see this uh, radio button checked, that means the developer mode is enabled on your Windows operating system. So this is how you can enable developer mode on your Windows operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.